Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be playing in a junk journal again. We are working through this junk journal here that Ellie from Elsie Bell's bookshelf made me. And we've just been going through and decorating. I'm showing you how you can turn a simple junk journal or really any kind of junk journal into something truly fun and beautiful but make it really simple. This is not personal. There's no personal ephemera, dear diary entries. It's just all inspirational or art based. So we're gonna be using a new product I received today and these are watercolor brush pens from Chocola. Now this video is sponsored by Chocola. They sent me these beautiful brush pens and they're also hosting a giveaway for you guys and they also have a coupon. So you can see all the information below about the giveaway and what is required to join that as well as the coupon code and you can shop their Amazon store. So I have not actually tried these yet. I wanted to experiment real time. So I'm excited about that. I've got a couple of ideas. It came with 26 colors in this beautiful case and then it also came with a pad of watercolor paper and it came with this water brush and I've added water to it that's why it's out so we're going to be playing with these in the journal and um, I have this pan so I don't get my desk too dirty if we do some messy play um, I'm not too worried about, oh my, I should have gotten a bigger pan, but I guess it fits in there about perfect. I'm trying to stay somewhat in frame. Okay, so we were working in here and um, we've done some stenciling and we've added a few things, but I still feel there's a lot more, of course, that we can do. So I flipped to this page, even though this page is coffee dyed and I really like the geometric shapes that are coming through. The ephemera we put over here that has these bright colors, I'd like to mirror a little bit of that over on this page, trying some of these brush pens. So no, I don't know how this is going to turn out. We are experimenting. This is the fun about art and the fun about working in a journal that is just your journal. You can do whatever you want with it. So let's get started. I know I definitely want some pinks. And I don't really know how these are all gonna come out. So oh, that's really pretty. I mean, like it's it looks like a soft paintbrush. All right, I have never tried these before. So well, let's just look at that. It's, it's like painting, but with a marker. The control is really good. It doesn't feel too watery. I'm gonna see if we use this water brush. Let me get that water going. Sometimes you have to, I had a water brush that's just a, from a different company and it takes a little bit to get the bristles actually wet and you have to squeeze it a couple times till the water comes. I'm gonna see what happens when I add just some extra water. Okay, so it doesn't really pull that color that much anymore, but that's fine. And remember that we are working on a coffee dyed surface. So look at how pretty those are. I love the brush stroke. Perfect, there we go. And then um, I'm thinking Maybe we'll go into a yellow. I'm not an artist as far as like a watercolor or anything like that. I'm just kind of intuitive, whatever I feel like doing. So I'm just kind of blending a little bit of yellow in and I'm gonna come back with this water and see if I can get that water coming to the bristles kind of blend these two colors a little more. I'm not gonna worry about getting this paper wet for two reasons. 
one, it'll dry and I'm just gonna experiment, I'm experimenting. And two, I have a little heat tool here that if it gets too wet, I can dry it, but these aren't too, too bad. All right, I think I wanna go to a green. Let's see, so all we're doing is adding color. And I know that there's already the coffee, but who says you can't add color on top of coffee? They're not as juicy as I thought they would be, but I think that gives you a little more control. They're not, they're not like sloppy wet. Come back with that water brush and see. I really don't see the water brush doing that much and that might be because the coffee dyed of the coffee dyed paper so I would almost use the water brush with just some other like a watercolor palette or something I know I want that deep blue I'm not sure how deep to go so we'll try this so on another video we're definitely going to be coming back and doing more on this page this is just giving us some color. Really fun. There we go. And then I'm going to leave some coffee dyed effect here as well. And I want to see what the effect is to the other side of the page. Isn't that cool? Like it bled through a little bit. It's not wet enough that I'm going to need my heat tool. But it added some really cool color kind of brushy effect. So I'm going to keep flipping through and seeing if there's more areas. So we wrote this last time, five things you can control every day, your attitude, your words, your actions, your manners, and your effort. And I think it would be really cool to come in with just a little bit of color, maybe just around the edge. I don't know, guys, I am not a watercolor expert. I'm letting it bleed onto the page behind it and just doing a really messy stroke. Sometimes you don't know what you like till you do it. I hope my head's not getting, I bet you my head has been getting in the way. Sorry about that. That's funny. If you weren't able to see anything because my head was in the way. These are really great for brush strokes because it gives that real strokey effect. And then it kind of left a little on that page, which is cool. The yellow page. I'm gonna try something. I am terrible at art, but I'm gonna try. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try like a little Painted rosette. This pink works really well. Some of the colors are really vibrant. Come in with, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a red in the middle. And some green for the leaves. Just little watercolor doodles. You can actually control them really well if you're using the tip. Isn't that neat? Oh, I know those of you who are watercolor artists can do a lot better than I can, but just that little flower, isn't that sweet? Let's see, what else? You can even, okay, so we've been working on the backs of these journal cards because they're blank. So let's play with that. Let's grab an orangish color and see what happens if we just kind of give it a quick watercolor wash. And then maybe we'll get some darker, maybe even a brown. We'll go with the brown maybe even draw some 
squiggly ish lines on here and we can come back in and write on these later that gives us kind of a canvas for a quote later on Wouldn't this be fun to add something to we kind of have a stencil on here and what would happen if we I don't know I'm just playing that's the fun thing about this when you're working in a junk journal just for the pleasure of it you get to say what would happen if I did and you learn so many things you learn what you like you learn what you don't like you learn to work with different mediums okay so we've done a few things in there but I'm not done testing. I have a little coloring book. You know, you can get these adult coloring books that are really detailed. And I want to try something. Let's see. Where's a pretty little butterfly? Okay, so we're going to take this page out. Make sure I'm in frame. I want to watercolor that butterfly, cut it out, and add it into the journal doesn't matter what colors what am I feeling so let's try like a teal I'm just gonna go big and messy kind of you don't have to take a lot of time you can just quickly add a few colors. I hope my head's not getting in the way again. There's a little bit of teal and maybe we'll add a little of this orangey yellow on the tips just like that. Maybe a darker blue. To see if we can blend a little bit. Like I said, I am terrible with colors and blending and all of that. I just do what I feel like. I want to take some classes on like watercolor and other things. I've been using Skillshare and trying to take some classes and learn. So hopefully I'll get to some watercolor. I've been taking some Photoshop classes. So then I'm going to cut this little butterfly, fussy cut it out and find a little home for it. So getting a set of watercolor brushes like this is a really good investment for your journaling. You can do so many things. Makes it really fun to have a set um, like that nearby that you can work with. Add a little bit of that mixed media effect. So there's my little butterfly. Let's find a place for it. I don't think I want it on the front. Let's see. I kind of like it there. Grab my glue. Isn't that cute? Just adding little touches, building as we go. Now we have this whole part here, or this side, thinking, let me try something. Let's fold this in half. Try using your coloring book pages like you would regular paper. I'm gonna cut a heart. Just freehand. Okay, I have a little bit of coffee in this spray bottle and I'm going to spray it on there, dry the layer. Might take a while. Okay, I dried that pretty well. And so now it has a little bit of a 
darker tint to it. It's a little wrinkly, a little more aged. And then I'm gonna come in, I don't know, I'm just playing, I'm seeing, I have a brown and I'm just kind of doing the edges like I would if I had maybe an ink pad or something. Like I said, just playing around. And I'm gonna turn, well, maybe I made the heart too big to turn it into a pocket. I was gonna turn it into a pocket, but I forgot I have a traveler's notebook size. So it might be a little on the big side, but we'll find a good place for it. Here we go, I know what to do, okay. I'm gonna fold it in on itself. So we can line that crease up. Am I in frame? Okay. There we go. Nope. Isn't that neat? I love how it looks together and you see the colors poking through. I'm just going to glue it all around. We're not turning it into a pocket. That was my initial idea. We have to be flexible. Not pretty. We're starting to create this beautiful spread. And then one more thing I wanna try is actually try some of the watercolor paper that came with it. Just to see how that differs. And maybe we'll make a journal card or two out of it. This is 200 pound paper. So nice and thick. Alrighty, let's move the journal out of the way. And I'm going to take the water brush and I'm gonna, well, yeah. I'm gonna kind of start with a layer of water to kind of help the markers blend. That's the idea anyway. Those of you who know what they're doing when it comes to watercoloring, you can laugh at me and you can correct me in the comments. I'd appreciate it. I'm just playing. This isn't art as much as it is just playing. All right. So I'm feeling, hmm. Just pick one, Lindsay, right? You get even more of, look at that watercolor effect because of the water. And I'm gonna even spray in bits of some coffee because I really like that vintage feel. I'm just going for a colored background. I'm not trying to create a picture or anything. Just trying to get color down on this. It's because it's gonna be the background of some journal cards that we will use. I'm gonna pull in my heat gun. I need to dry this area. It's too wet. Okay, let's come in with a different shade, a little lighter. This is gonna be cut up, so I'm just going for a background that I think is fun. All right, and then we will go for another kind of bluish. If I feel like I need a touch more water, I have this water brush. I can kind of wet some areas that are drying. I think the background's starting to take some shape here.
Sorry I'm quiet when I'm thinking. And we'll go for one more and we're going to add a little pops of purple. Not sure how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna spray a little more coffee. Wow, that looks really good. And I don't want too much purple. I just want a few hints of it in a few places. You don't have to add the coffee in. I just kind of like the effect it gives. Hmm, I was gonna have that be the end, but this is really dull over here. I might come back in with that original teal. Try to add a little more color. Go slightly darker. There we go. All right, I'm gonna give it a good dry. Okay, now that I've dried it pretty well, hmm. I'm still seeing a couple areas that could use a little more pop of something. I think it's always hard to stop because there's always more you can add. It's just kind of fun adding the colors and playing around. Okay, so now that our background is done, let's turn it into some journal cards. I have some scissors here. It does not have to be perfect. You could use a template if you wanted to. And since our journal is a little smaller, we're gonna turn it into four different cards here. We probably will not use all four in the journal but we're gonna see if there's any places we wanna pop them. And then later on in another video, we'll add more things to the cards. All right, let's move this tray out of the way, open up our journal. Look at that, add an extra journal card there in the front and how it pulls some of the colors from this butterfly and mirrors the blue over here. Maybe a pocket. That might be a nice option. Let me see what I have in here. Just a second. I have a circle punch. And I'm going to use that to punch a little notch out of the top and use my glue to turn this into a pocket. Of course, we will find something to stick in it later on. Here we go. Any other places? Am I staying in frame? <laughs> I'm thinking another pocket, kind of sometimes doing a few of the same thing in a journal gives it a fun continuity. Makes it feel purposeful. I'm gonna glue another pocket here. There we go. Hmm. And if we, well, I think that this would be a great journal card right there. So we will decorate those more later on, but I am gonna try one more thing. This is one of my favorite stamps. I um, don't even remember where I got it, but it's just this little greenery branch. And if my head's getting in the way again, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try the brush 
pens on this stamp. So let's go for a dark green. Sometimes I like doing this more than using a stamp pad because not only can you get multiple colors if you have a detailed stamp, but you can get the ink exactly where you want it. Isn't that beautiful? I wanna do that in a couple more places throughout our journal here, I think. Maybe one in the corner down here. It's a great thing to do when you're playing in a journal. If you pull out a stamp or you know supplies like these brush pens or something that you really wanna work with, that you flip through the journal and put it all of the places that you want to, and then you put it away. That way you get the maximum use out of it, you get it in multiple places, and then your next play session, you can pull out something different. Hmm, we're gonna try, this is fun. Just feel like you're painting on that stamp not pretty? I love how this is coming out. It's probably pretty good. Now I'll do one more. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really liked playing in the journal. I really liked adding a lot more touches to it using these watercolor brush pens from Chocola. So if you're interested in winning a set of these brush pens, then follow the guidelines that are spelled out below. Or if you'd like to purchase something from their shop, there is a coupon code below that you are welcome to use. Give this video a thumbs up if it inspired you to play in your journals. And we will be back shortly with more craft videos, more tutorials, more craft with me's, and lots of other things coming in the near future. I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. I hope when you're done with this video, you pull out some craft supplies, sit down and start playing.